hundreds of riot police moved in after a brief warning to demonstrators to leave Freedom Park. It was known to be a place of peaceful resistance until the mood changed. They drove out the protesters and tore everything down. The police blocked roads into the capital to prevent any more opposition supporters from joining the protests. As well as patrolling events from the sky, they evicted journalists from the site. Over the past few weeks, thousands of garment workers have taken to the streets. They've joined supporters of the opposition party, who allege vote rigging in the July election. They're calling for fresh polls and promise the striking garment workers a pay increase if they come to power. The leader of the opposition party condemned the violence and demanded a thorough investigation. We have made uh, an appeal to both sides, workers and armed forces, to withdraw, to stop using any forms of violence so that we can find a peaceful solution. The crackdown by security forces comes a day after four people were killed when police opened fire on a protest by garment workers. They were demanding a doubling of the minimum wage. This latest action by the police indicates a hardening of the government's response to the opposition and Labour protests, which were generally peaceful since the elections. Nicola Carroll, BBC News.